These are so good. Sister? No, I'm an only child. Me too. We're primed for psychoanalysis. And tell me about it. So can I psychoanalyze you? Uh, sure. <laughs> Childhood, good or bad? Um, good and bad. Favorite foods? This is such an intense subject for me. Fish. I love fish. Have you ever been to Oceana? No. Oh, it's the most amazing restaurant. It's truly religious. What's your favorite food? Eclairs. Love eclairs. Vices? Sleeping. Beer, wine, cheese. Cigarettes, fashion magazines, TV, chocolate, underachievers. You're single, though, right? This is supposed to be about you, not me. Well, it's been about you a little bit. Who was your first kiss? I don't know her name. What? I was 12. I just finished at the dentist who had Novocaine my whole mouth. My mom was supposed to pick me up. And this lady, she comes walking out of this shop. And she drops something out of her pocket. A ring. I picked it up. I tried to call out to her, but Miss. my mouth wasn't opening too much. Miss. and It was all slurred. She smiled. So finally, I gave it to her. And then she kissed me. A real kiss. And even though I couldn't feel anything, I got excited. Such a weird story. It was weird. But then I felt powerful, like I could kiss anybody. How about you? I was 11, my gym partner. You kiss like a fish. He was a jerk. Some people like that kind of thing. Not when you're 11 and a half. What kind of girls did you date in high school? First, there was Megan Brodsky, 10th grade cheerleader. Go out! My cute little bow! Take me out for a good time! No! Then there was Faith Keenan, the 11th grade klepto. Here, hide these. And Haley Heller, the 12th grade science prodigy. Look at this rare slug I found in your garden. How about you? There was Ted McGurin. He was allergic to me. Oh, we can work things out. <laughs> Gabe Stiano, new age freak with the crystal. If you hold this, things will work out. I know it. And Ricky James. But my dog didn't <laughs> like him. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> so, can you make any conclusions, Doctor?